what's up my name is tech Nova here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video in this quick video i'll be showing you how to fix missing panels in adobe premiere pro what are panels well they're these things over here the effects window project effect controls timeline the buttons for the timeline etc etc these are all different panels and of course can be right click closed at any time or dragged out of the window completely where you forget about them how exactly do you bring them back when you get rid of them it's incredibly simple click window at the very top and simply tick whatever you're missing here you can of course untick things you don't use i only really use audio meters effect controls effects metadata source control and tools over here if i expand timelines you can see whatever projects are currently open but you can always bring this back by simply double clicking on a sequence here to open a brand new timeline Super simple. That's all you really need to know about bringing these back. If you need to move them around, grab them by the name up here and move them around to wherever you see fit. The center block means add it as another tab, bottom, left, right, etc. are all saying put it next to whatever item this is. And if we drag it up to the very top over here is to simply add it as a tab again, it's the same as the center. But if I drag it up to the very top, you'll see a lighter mark at the very top of the window, which means pin it above everything else. It'll squish everything down and place it above. Then I can resize it and do what I want with it. That's really about it for panels in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's super simple and is really the same in any other Adobe program. Now I've closed it, but usually at the top you'll have editing, assembly, etc, etc. And those are different workspace layouts. You can get to window, workspaces, and change them here. I'm currently on a modified version of the editing one that I'm just very comfortable with using. You can save your current workspace by clicking save as new workspace, and I'll call it just techno. If I head to window workspaces and choose something else instead, after a few seconds, it'll reposition everything and change it to whatever the workflow is there. Once again, I just really prefer the one that I got to as it's just very efficient for me. But anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.